academic. On this channel, I explore how I set personal and professional goals and deal with strategies to achieve them. I am an academic, as I said, I'm an early career academic or mid-career, depending on who you ask. Um, I'm also a wife and a cat mom, and I'm also a passion planner ambassador. Today, I'm working in the Passion Planner Medium Weekly. This is undated, and this is the marble cover, but it's the old, the first version of the marble cover, which is a, is a little different than their current version, I understand. I'm also, um, as I said, this is undated, but I dated it for an academic calendar year with the non-flush tabs. And um, this is the current week. So what I would, what I will typically do is start just by going over how the current week is. And um, then I will set up the week of January 10th through the, <laughs> sorry, you guys, my brain is not working. This week is conference week through the 16th. Um, so yes, to, this week is conference week. This is the largest um, humanities conference that I'm aware of, and um, it's taking place this week. So from Thursday to Sunday, um, I am tuning in virtually to a bunch of different sessions. I'm also presenting at some sessions. So it's been a very interesting week, kind of like diving straight back in from the holidays. Um, but at the same time, like conferences are always a little different than our typical work in academia. So I've actually enjoyed it so far. The first day, this was Thursday, it was yesterday, and um, I, it was a good day. I, um, I really enjoyed the panel that I presented on. It was really interesting to hear everyone's ideas and to have discussion with the participants. Um, some of the uh, participants' questions sparked some interesting ideas for me because, um, you know, they, they were... Um, unsure about the topic. And so, you know, hearing their questions and their potential objections was actually really helpful for thinking about um, how I might intervene in that conversation. So I really had a good um, day. It also snowed on Monday, like a lot. <laughs> if you're in the mid-Atlantic, you know, um, it snowed more than anyone thought it was going to, especially this early in the year. It caused some major issues on our major freeway in Virginia. Um, but from my perspective, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I did post a reel of what we did on the snow day. So if you guys want to take a look, uh, check out my Instagram. The, the reel is up there. Um, otherwise, it's been a pretty productive week. I have, um, I, I've done a little bit of course prep, but, and luckily I did because I caught a pretty big snafu on the part of my university bookstore. So fingers crossed we can sort that out before the beginning of term, but um, there's still a lot more to be done on that, but I'm waiting until next week to really dive into it because of the conference and because I wanted to get some things squared away this week to make the rest of the month easier on me. One of those things is gearing up for my research series that I'm, that I'm, um, working on right now. And, um, essentially that is going to be videos on this channel and it's going to be blog posts on my blog, all about organizing your life for research. So if you're interested Please stay around, uh, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, uh, stay tuned for that research series, and also if you're interested, there's going to be blog uh, content related to that uh, video series as well. You can go to tanyaazar.com and subscribe to that blog if you wish. Um, so that's what I've been working on in between everything else this week. Um, so you have a pretty good week here. and. Uh, to be continued. Um, the only thing that's happening that I wasn't expecting is we're actually going to be moving into my parents' house this weekend because they are flying to be with my grandparents and they have a cat. Um, and it's just easier for us to move uh, our cat to their house so the cats have a lot more space to run around in than if we were to move their cat into our house because our house is tiny and you know how kitties are, they're very territorial. So it just helps if there's more space for them to like hide in. Um, so this, this is the new week here. This is the week of the 10th through the 16th. And um, I have decided to use my brand new Passion Planner. It's in the Star Sticker Book. I actually have a video coming out where I go over my Christmas 
haul, if you will. And this is one of the items in that haul. So we're going to actually use some of the stickers from this book in this week. And I'll tell you why I could have gone, I think, with like more like a traditional wintry theme to go with like the weather and stuff. Um, but I really love this first page of stickers in this book, like the icy blue and the blush pink, um, that and then these stickers, which kind of go along with it. And they're not um, like unlike some of the sticker book, which is like related to the specific astrology signs. Um, this one's a little more generic just kind of really pretty and it's definitely got like you know uh astrology as a theme here right um but it's not specific to a specific sign or, or a specific time of year um so i just really liked the colors and i thought why not dive right into my brand new book i just i really was eager to do that um, and to go along with that i'm also going to be using the passion planner um dual tip highlighters um, this one's the pink one and this one's the blue one to go with the pink and the blue. And uh, for any writing, I'm going to have my Micron 05 pen as usual. Okay, so let me move this out of the way. Okay, so I'm going to start by popping um, some appointments I know I have next week on and then we'll get to the decorating. Since we're still on winter break, there's not as many appointments as there would be nor normally in a, in a semester. So I don't have that many, which is why I'm going to go ahead and start with them today. I did, however, line up a meeting with a book publisher to pitch my book idea. So that's awesome. Like, I'm feeling really good about that. Um, and I need to get my book proposal to this person by the end of the day today. Uh, but this would be helpful. I think even if, you know, she's not interested in my specific project, just getting her perspective would be really helpful for my overall process. So I'm excited for that. And then I do have therapy again. I have a lot to tell her. Um, and then the 14th is my friend's birthday. And Sunday is my grandparents' anniversary. I'm not actually sure how many years it's been that they've been married, but it's definitely over 60 years, I think. Maybe. Yeah, I think it's probably around 60-ish years. Um, I'll figure it out, let you guys know. So um, I do want to send them a anniversary message. My grandma is now in a home, um, which has been so far really good for her and the family. Um, I think my grandpa though is probably adjusting. I mean, it's really hard if you've been with someone that long, day in and day out for so many years. Um, to make that adjustment, even though he can go see her every day if he wants to. It's like a mile away from the house. Um, so, and, it's, and he's not alone. My aunt is there. Um, but I'm sure it's very different for him. I'm sure it's just sort of like a shock to the system. So I hope that he's adjusting. Um, also, it is payday on Friday. Okay. Um, so let's see, as I said, there's not a lot of appointments Um and not a lot of appointments here, um, but that's good because I need time to set up my classes for the spring semester. So actually what I'm gonna do is jot down some work to do's that I know I have. Um, so I need to check on the books. I need to finish, I might actually have done this by the time this week starts, but maybe, we'll see. It's a busy week with the conference and everything. Um, I need to definitely set up my 302 classes. So that's all for this week. This is some sort of class setup that I need to do. And um, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and jot down also the content that's coming out this week so that I can re remind myself. 
um, Monday. I actually need to take a look at my, to remind myself what's going on. Oh, okay. Um, so I have YouTube video and this is, if you guys are interested, it's about old passion planners. Um, I look at my older passion planner roadmaps and ask myself if they actually helped me achieve any of my life goals. Um, so if you want an interesting video in which I'm reflecting on goals I set in the past and whether the roadmap helped or not, go ahead and uh, subscribe. You'll see that video on the 10th. There's also a blog coming out um, this week and it is on research themes. And typically those come out on Thursday, but since I'm doing the video on Wednesday, I might shift that a little. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'll put this all on Wednesday. So it will be both a video and blog on research themes. And there will be a plan with me as always on Friday. Yes. Yeah, okay. So that's the content coming out. Um, and ah, um, this actually I've done. I need to figure out, I need to kind of tackle my podcast. Um, I have one episode recorded that needs editing. I need to line up more interviews. So that's the big thing is getting that inter those interviews lined up so that I can figure out what the release schedule is going to be. So I'm putting that on the list for next week for sure. Also, I'm just going to jot here that Passion Planner has some um, monthly challenges for us. So I just want to like think through um, like what I want to do with that. Also, I might be developing next week the um, like at least one live YouTube situation. So if you're interested in that, please drop a note in the comments. Let me know if you would attend a live um, what I was thinking is kind of like a hobby hour where you could per, like work on whatever hobby or passion project you wanted to for like an hour. If you're like me and you require some um, accountability, some like camaraderie to, to, to make sure those things happen in your life, um, then I think maybe a live would be kind of fun. So let me know if you are interested. I will absolutely set that up. Okay, let me just take a quick look here. So we will always have normal stuff, laundry and groceries. And um, uh, we need to keep on working on our adoption paperwork. I'm actually going to f probably find time in this week to print some of the paperwork that needs like signatures. I think I'm going to have this crossed off by the time this new week comes. Um, oh, I mentioned this last time, but I think I need to see a podiatrist. Um, I just have a variety of issues with my foot that I need checked out, so I just need to schedule it. It's not like, you know, I haven't done it. I haven't scheduled it because it's just, it's not like the end of the world. It's not preventing me from doing most things, but um, it's definitely something that I want to, to get to at some point. Next week, my only filming will be film my plan with me. Okay. So I think so far that's it for migrated tasks from this week to that week. 
And let me just take a quick look now at my month overview to make sure I didn't miss anything. This week, this weekend also is a three day weekend because of the MLK holiday. So I'm gonna pop on here. Um, if I'm gonna ask John if he wants to do anything special. Since he has that Monday off, um, it might be that we decide to do something this weekend, in which case we'd want to plan that. Okay, so we are plugging away at the adoption paperwork. Um, I'm going to add, we still have a few more modules, which may actually be like a non-issue by the time this week comes. I might have blown through them by then, but I don't think so. And then um, I did get some home projects done. Still a few more to go though. But since we're moving to my parents' house for a couple weeks, that's put in beyond hold for now. Definitely, actually I did this. Um, this stuff's gonna happen this coming week. And I'm talking with the publisher this coming week. And I could, yeah, I could transfer some of those so I could finish um, a reading that I'm working on and like keep plugging away the library stack. Because what I'd like to do is get through that stack, bring that back to campus and print my paperwork at the same time. So that would be a perfect synchronous thing if I could get that to work. Um, moving along with that research. Okay, so that's um, stuff that I need from there. So let me just double check if there's anything else that I can think of as to do's. I think that's it for now, for to-do items. Okay, so let's do a little decorating, see if anything else occurs to me. Okay, so I just love these stickers so much. I'm actually going to start with these little washies here. I just thought that would be like really pretty if I put them over the little, I don't need like to see whether it's personal or work. I, I know that already. And it adds a little, uh, a little uh, festivity here. Actually, make this look how cute that is. So cute, I love it. And same thing over here with the space of infinite possibility. I like to cover up this quote sometimes because, I mean, this is not a bad one this particular week. Think about something you have failed at recently. Try it again. Failing to make a child. I guess we keep trying every month, technically. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what else I would actually do for that, but I think what I'll do is go ahead and put this little guy Not going to cover every single bit of every single letter, but close enough. Okay. Um, and then I really like this hand. I just think that's kind of cool, don't you? Okay. I'm going to go put that here. And I love this evil eye. So pretty. So pretty. Maybe here, yeah, I'll put it here. And these crystals are gorge. I'm gonna put that there. I 
kind of want to put something like darkish over here. Let's see if there's something else. The same, I think, because I think the other stuff is not the same color scheme, so we'll, we'll give it a flip and see. It's kind of similar, but not dark. Ooh, that's pretty. The Libra. That's a similar color scheme. And they have dark. Let's take a look. Justice. You know what? That might not be a bad one. Let's stick that in the corner here. It's just so pretty. Look at that foil. Mm, love it. Anything else I want from here? back to that. Okay, let's see. I think I definitely need one of these butterflies, and I think I'm going to go with the one that has the most... Mm, no, I actually want this one. Look how pretty that is. So I'm thinking in the corner here. I guess I could unstick it, but you know what? I'm going to unstick it because this is Passion Planner and you can do that. Okay. And then let's see. I think we're getting close to my sticker quota. You know me. I don't love to over sticker. Yeah, I think we're getting close. I like this little, if you're looking for a sign, this is it thing. Like, I think that's cute. So I'm going to just put that here. And maybe one more. I feel like we need something in this part of the week. I like these cards and it brings a little more pink into the spread. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Ah, I love it. I love it so much. Don't you love it? Okay. Uh, now I'm going to come in with the highlighters here and just give uh, this a little more color. Put that down. Okay. So this is... An exciting meeting and another meeting. And then I think what I'll do is highlight the content. I might also come back in with some like content stickers here to make this like kind of look a little more cohesive. And then I think what I'll do is come in like I normally do on top and just give this a little alternating color. I love the pink and the blue. It's so cute. And I like that it's kind of icy, you know, like this is still winter, but it doesn't have to all be, you know, blue. I think we're good on that. And then I have my good things that happened. Um, I think I might actually go and do little alternating dots. or good things that happen. Don't know if I'll have that many good things, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, and now I have the space of infinite possibility and you guys know that I do different things there, different weeks. Um, I think 
this time I might, I have, I, I've been using my passion planner daily all week this week because I had so much to keep track of between the content and work and the adoption stuff and then the conference. And I've been using these notes sections like a lot, like as ideas occur to me. So I think what I'll do, oh, that reminds me, yeah, this. I need to upload my booster card info to the university because um, they are requiring us to have boosters, which I already have, but I need to prove it to them. So I have some like ideas and I just love like this little light bulb. So I'm actually going to go ahead and redraw that. and practicing my lettering a little. Bright ideas. I mean, I think they're pretty bright, so that's all that matters. <laughs> okay. Um, I definitely want to make a tips video for my students. But I think if I see it here, it'll remind me instead of it being buried in one of my days. Um, I, as I said, I'm thinking about hosting YouTube Live and calling it Passion Hour. It'll be kind of fun, I think. Oh, um, I was thinking about gathering data from this week on um, virtual conferencing, because I think we're gonna continue to have virtual conferences throughout the spring, so, um, you know, people could might be able to might want to know like some of my tips. And I think I actually might have done a post like this last year. So maybe it's an update post, which is fine. And then in my research series, like I had only planned on three, like three segments, but then I thought maybe it would be cool to have like a capture research, like what I what I use to capture research, research how I capture it. Um, so at the very least, make it a blog post, if not a video. So we'll, we'll take that. Um, yeah. Let me just see if there's anything else I put notes on here. Oh, let me drop this down here. And sometimes if I have notes for something on a specific page, I will put um, that page so that I can refer to it. Like, this is too much stuff. I'm not going to put that there because I already wrote it. Everything else I think I have. Yeah. So everything else from that week, from this week, is in somewhere. It's captured somewhere. Okay. So I might use this space to continue having bright ideas. I'm not sure yet, but um, for now, at least this will keep it forefront in my mind so that I can think about like if I really want to pursue it, make plans for it, put to do items on here for it. Uh, but just having it here as opposed to it buried in my daily um, will help me realize like if I want to actually tackle it or not. Thank you so much for watching. This is pretty much it for the week. Um, stay tuned on Instagram if you want to see how the week evolves over time uh, as I fill it up with more um, appointments that get made or action items that I do. You can um, take a look. I always post updates 
um, on Instagram. Um, as I said, coming up, I have videos on this channel such as um, the do old passion planner road, or like does the passion planner roadmap actually work to help you achieve your goals? Uh, a look back at some of my old passion planner roadmaps. I also have my research series starting this week, and that will start on Wednesday the 12th. So if you are interested in um, developing research themes, managing a research pipeline, um, organizing your digital files for research, all of that kind of stuff, and maybe even um, how to capture research, um, please give this channel um, a subscribe, share it with your networks, and thanks again for watching. I hope that your week is going well.